Hey guys, this is Pesh from Bwom.com and we've taken a look at the most powerful phones in the world, most innovative phones in the world and some insane phones, heck even a hacker phone. But today we are taking a look at the most boring smartphone in the world which is actually pretty interesting and something we all need. Anyway, before we get started, I'd suggest you to hit the bell icon to get notified every time we post an awesome new video. Now that you've done that, let's take a look at this phone. So this is it. This is the most boring smartphone in the world. In fact, this phone is the boring phone. Yes, that's actually the name. I'm not even kidding. Anyway, you might be wondering why is this phone called boring phone? I mean, this looks like your usual phone. In fact, this is a fairly modern smartphone. And to be honest, this is just a rebranded Mi A1. Damn! It looks the same, has the same specs and the usual features. But this isn't the point of this phone. The point of this phone is something entirely different. You know what? I strongly recommend you to watch this video till the very end because I have a really important message for you guys you shouldn't miss out on. Anyway, the boring phone is not boring because of its specs or its looks. The twist is, it is boring by choice. See, the boring phone comes with Boring Phone OS, a simple Android-based OS that focuses on the bare essentials. It only packs in the useful features, so with the boring phone, you can make calls, text people, use the GPS for navigation, listen to music or podcasts, take photos, check the calendar, basically all the basic stuff that we do on a smartphone. But that's pretty much it. Everything else is off the table. The boring phone does not have social media apps or even media apps. So forget Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, WhatsApp, YouTube, Netflix, basically any major app. There's not even a browser on this phone or an email app or an app store. So yeah, you are restricted to all the basic stuff. Anyway, like I said, this is a boring phone by choice. See, the boring phone is for a specific set of people, people who take their phones everywhere, literally everywhere. These people take their phones to the toilets, their bathrooms. These people use their phones while talking to people, driving their car or even their bike. These people use their phones even when they're asleep and even when they wake up. These people use their phones even when they're running for their life. Yeah, these guys use their phones everywhere. These are the people who are addicted to smartphones. Look, an average user spends around three hours every single day on their smartphones, almost 20 hours a week and that means an average user wastes 43 days using their phones in a year, if you go by the stats. But that's for an average user. Hardcore smartphone users use their phone for at least 4 hours daily. And that means we are wasting almost 2 months every year using our smartphones. Yes, 2 months in a year just using our phones. It's insane and honestly a big concern. Now, now that I look at the boring phone, I don't see it as the boring phone. I look at it as the most powerful smartphone in the world that can honestly change our lives for the better. With a phone like the boring phone, you get so many benefits. You'll get more time to do other things like reading books or exercising or maybe learning something new. You'll be able to focus more, be it on your work or your next PUBG session. Oh, wait, that's not possible. God, I'm addicted. Anyway, you'll be able to also connect with your friends and the family better as you'll be talking to them instead of being on your phone all the time. Lastly, with the boring phone, your privacy will be intact. No apps means no tracking, no permissions, nothing. Great. But hey, let's be honest. Nobody is going to buy the boring phone. You're not going to buy it. I'm not going to buy it. But we can do something about this. This addiction of smartphones. See, 90s kids like us got access to smartphones, social media apps very late. So by the time we got access to them, we were mature enough to make the right choices. The same cannot be said for today. Today things are pretty bad. I've seen kids getting addicted to YouTube. They don't play, they don't talk. All they do is watch YouTube all the time. Then there are kids who are addicted to PUBG Mobile. All they do is play PUBG Mobile all day long. Then there are kids addicted to apps like Instagram and TikTok. They make these short videos on these platforms and all they do is watch their views, how many likes they've gotten and that's it. If they get the likes and the views, it's good. They keep making these videos. But if it doesn't, they go into low self-esteem and that finally leads to depression. It's a serious matter. And since you're watching this video, it's your responsibility to help those around you. Share this video with your friends and family and people who you think need help. Make sure to set limits on YouTube and other apps on phones that kids use. Yeah, go ahead and help people that are addicted to smartphones. Do you think? Anyway, how addicted are you? Do you take your phones everywhere? 
tell us in the comment section below also give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and make sure to share it with your friends who are really addicted to the smartphone lastly subscribe to our channel for more amazing tech videos well, that's me signing off thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one